Shri Krishna as well as the entire Vedic lore. Of course, we have sannyasa ashram and sannyasa has got its different meaning. I will talk to you about it sometime. Shri Krishna says that you won't be even able to create a mind which is capable of sannyas, which is capable of yoga, which is capable of samadhi, if you are going to give up the karma. You won't have any, any other means to shape the mind, to create that mind so beautifully. Because you will be able to meet your inner devils and demons only when you are at work and interacting with the world. When somebody rejects you, you will know how much frustration you have. When someone is not going to appreciate you, you will know how much anger you have when somebody is going going to say something to you you will know how much guilt you have you will know all these things not just by going into the forest and therefore Shri Krishna is of very clear opinion karma karana mukshate arjuna bring them out meet them where they have to be met and when you have created that kind of a mind, then yoga rudhasya, a person whose mind is thus very still and calm. For such a person who is yoga rudha, now you understand the meaning? Arudha, one who is well mounted, well seated, properly placed. Yoga rudha, for such a person, let him take to sannyasa and meditate. Because life of a sannyasi is not anything else but simply pursuit of that knowledge through Shravana Manana Nidhyasana. Somebody hastily takes to sannyas, then that person will regret, why did I do that? And sannyas is not a profession, it is not a career that you can change. Oh, you know, I. I didn't want to become a doctor, now I'm changing my career. <laughs> I want to be a musician. You can change it there. Sannyas is not something like that. Sannyas is giving up. Not taking to anything. Once something is given up, you don't go take it back. Giving up means that you have found that it is valueless and hence it is given up. Then only that is called as giving up. Giving up is not something that is forced out of you. Something that is snatched out of you, from you. That is not giving up. So now over here, Shri Krishna says, Yoga Arurukshu, he who is an Arurukshu is a Muni. Let him go into the world and do something. Friends, we will talk about this, discuss about it, how Bhagavan Shri Krishna leads into that. Presently, all of you who are sitting here, your frame of mind, at least for this time, is quieter than before. Use this quietitude. Mind is your instrument. When you have a knife and you sharpen that knife, it has to be used. You sharpen the knife not because the knife should be sharp. You sharpen the knife because you want to use the knife. 
now that you have a relatively calmer mind, what are you going to do with it? Don't plan murders. <laughs> Now with this calm mind, move all the cobwebs try to dissect, look at the confusions, answer your questions. then it will be meditation. The meaning of word meditation will change for you from your state to state. At every step, it will be a different thing. Sometimes you have just thought that sitting over there is called as meditation. No. Just sitting is not meditation. You sitting Forcing yourself to sit still is becoming a rock. That's not it. So if you have, like people have this idea, what is spirituality? Oh, I don't eat non-veg on Mondays. <laughs> Big spirituality. <laughs> Big spirituality. <laughs> now if that is his definition of spirituality, Perfect, okay, go ahead. Then even make your Tuesday also spiritual. <laughs> Just don't wait on Mondays. Go on. Definitions will change. Like that, today, let us sit for, we have another can, can I use 10 more minutes? Can you give me 10 minutes? Is that okay? <coughs> Don't I will not take more than 10 minutes. I know within 5 minutes, 3 minutes, you will start rustling your clothes. <laughs> Somebody will start. <coughs> Swamiji! <coughs> <laughs> Those are all indications. but sit straight. Ideally speaking, if that was possible, you should do. Your knees should be, if they can come uh, below your, the, you know, or at the level of your sit bone, then your backbone will raise itself straight. When your knees rise up, the back crunches in, it goes curving. And when that starts, curving starts taking place, it means your alertness is also compromised. And that is why our teachers have said, sitting straight. Well, we do meditation lying down. I do not know, sir. That lying meditation, Everybody is waiting for the meditation in Shavasana. <laughs> we know what happens. All right. So sit straight. Few rounds of deep breathing. Uraka and just Rechaka. No Kumbhaka. No retention. Uraka means filling up and Rechaka means empty. Do not do any form of Kumbhaka. Retention do not do now. Only take the breath in completely. Fill your lungs thoroughly. Not only the upper chest but fill your lungs right up to the diaphragm.
full breath but not fast breathing. The sign of full breathing is that you will feel the organs or the muscles up to, up to the navel engaged in the filling and emptying of the lungs. Therefore, we say the full breath is breath up to the navel. When you empty, empty it right up to the navel, belly button. And when you fill, Fill it up to the navel.
mentally register the last point of your breath, the point where it reaches and the point from where it arises to be thrown out. This point is the Manipura Chakra or the place 